An EMP has destroyed the power grid. And for the next 72 hours, we're going to survive without power. No phones, no appliances, no power transportation, no modern conveniences of any kind. And it starts now. We've been storing extra food, accumulating various forms of backup power, and moving towards a more self-reliant lifestyle for years now. But it wouldn't be very interesting to watch us use all of that. So, the rules are, we only have whatever food is available in our pantry after not visiting the grocery store for over two weeks. And whatever's left in our main refrigerator. Oh, and our chickens too. And we can only use tools that are at least fairly commonly owned. One of the first things you should check after a power outage is see if your cell phone's working. If your cell phone's not working, that probably means it's not just a regular outage, it's an EMP. We're toast. Our well pump isn't working, so that means we need to collect all the water out of the lines. I can't, I can't do it. Let's see, Monkey, what we got in the pantry. We got beans. We got beans. We got beans. We got a lot of beans. Mm -hmm. We want to use the food in the refrigerator first because that's only going to last about a day. What are you doing? I'm, I'm trying to keep the cold in the refrigerator. What do we have? I don't know. I did it too quick. Apparently the next thing I need to do is go talk to my neighbors. I need to find out who's weaker so I can steal their food and supplies. <laughs> I'm just kidding. The world is collapsing out there, people. We need to work together. Hey, how are you doing today? Well, I'm fine. How are you? Um, good, thank you. Uh, listen, can I come in here? Sure. Okay, so we're, we're, we're doing a 72-hour power outage simulation from an EMP attack. So I'm going around talking to the neighbors and I didn't know if you'd like to participate. Well, how does that work? Uh, well, basically all you'd have to do is go 72 hours without power. No, I don't think so, but y'all have fun. Okay, all right, well, thank you. She's not down with it. <laughs> she said, have fun. <laughs> All right, I only have one more neighbor. Hey, we're going 72 hours without power. You want to participate? She said no. That's my mom. She lives in a separate part of our house. She won't even participate. I'm hungry. And the fact that we have limited food is making me hungrier. More hungry? I don't know. I want food. Hello, ladies. I'm sorry, but it has to be done. You didn't think I was gonna cook my chickens, did you? They'll feed me every day, and I love eggs. I don't know how long my propane's gonna last here, but I'm gonna use it while I have it. I think I saw some uh, ketchup in the refrigerator whenever I looked earlier. Somebody wants some. Oh, you could have won right here. Like, what? <laughs> no! The CMP scenario has really messed up my schedule. I like to start each day down the right path with health at the core of my intentions, and eight ounces of water with one scoop of AG1 is an effortless daily habit that helps me do that. And I can't skip it just because I don't have power. Come on, let's see what we can go find useful in the cabinets. With 75 high quality whole food sourced ingredients, including vitamins, minerals, superfoods, probiotics, and adaptogens, AG1 solves two health needs. Oh look, a candle. It gives me the nutrients my body needs each day and supports long-term gut health. Lighter fluid. Personally, I'm most excited about AG1 providing nutrients that support sustained physical and mental energy. If you know me, you know I need mental energy. You should begin to notice my improved mental focus from the adaptogens, minerals, and vitamins that enhance cognition and alertness. Ooh, look, a flashlight. It doesn't work though. The most surprising thing about AG1, quite frankly, is it actually tastes great. Even my 10 year old picky eater loves the taste. Another flashlight. Go to athleticgreens.com slash Haxman to get started on your order. AG1 is going to give my community a free one year supply of immune supporting vitamin D3 plus K2 and five free travel packs 
with your first purchase. Thanks to AG1 for sponsoring today's video. A ferro rod, that will definitely come in handy. While we're on the subject of ferro rods, let's, oh, here's my laundry. Hope nobody's underwear's in there. Let's get us some far starter. Oh, that's some prime stuff right there. I had hoped that this could wait, but I've got a rumbly in me tumbly. What's that for? Uh, well, since the uh, toilet won't flush, this is our poop pit. How's that work? It's just kind of... <laughs> but it's uh, it's pretty hidden. Nobody will see you. You want you want first go? No. Anybody after first has to worry about splashback. So. <laughs> what are you? <laughs> <She's gay. laughs> splashback did that too. <laughs> Mental note: <laughs> Never say splashback in front. Dear sausage people, get your mind out of the gutter. The Lord has a lot of potatoes. I'm gonna let this simmer for a little bit and let's go take care of some security out front. Yep, just like I thought, the trucks are dead. Like you wanna drive? Yeah. All right. It might seem like a little bit of a waste of time, but carbureted vehicles are still gonna be able to run and our gate is not gonna close. So we're gonna go block the driveway with the truck just to buy us some time Anybody can hop a fence, but it'll keep a vehicle from driving back in here if we come under siege. God is good, God is good, let us thank you for it. As someone who makes their living on social media, I find myself checking my phone constantly to see how well my videos are performing and what changes need to be made. It's kind of a blessing to go 72 hours without it. I need to do it more often so I can live in the moment more. This looks crazy. <laughs> I'm holding a PV. <laughs> I'm holding night vision over my phone so that I can film this. We're gonna rely on storm and havoc to keep us safe tonight. And the spirit of Eugene Stoner. Top of the morning to you ladies. Check it out. Nine eggs, not bad. I got two problems I have to solve today. One is food and one is water. And I think I can kill both of those birds with one stone. Is that how that would work? Also, another player has entered the game. Cameron has a fever this morning, so we'll see how that plays out. Hey, did you notice the blue flame go out? That's right, I'm out of propane. I used some miniature bungee cords to jerry-rig these fishing poles to our bicycles. Take that a hole. I transferred all of my fishing gear into this backpack to make it easy to carry, and we're off. You good, monkey? You good, monkey? Uh, yeah. My foot keeps hitting my reel every time I pedal. We're headed where there's an unlimited supply of fish and an unlimited supply of water. But there's just one problem. The fish, they're not biting. Oh, make that two problems because this water is undrinkable. But I'm gonna turn this dry bag into a wet bag and I'll solve that undrinkable problem later. With no propane, that means we're left to cooking over a fire but a fire will alert other people and draw them in. So we want to cook on the down low, like really low, like in the ground low. Once you have the first hole dug, you dig a secondary hole that's smaller, a couple feet away, and then you make like Andy Dufresne and tunnel under there and connect the two of them. I need some dry wood to burn. And this limb right here fell 
I don't know, about a week ago, and it is dry as a bone. That's why it fell off the tree. All right, I'm gonna put some of this dryer lint that I got earlier down in here. The drier the tinder that you put in here, the better, because you don't want any smoke or flame to be seen. The secondary hole is so that oxygen can come down and get underneath that fire to provide oxygen. Mmm. Eggs. It's what's for dinner and breakfast and lunch. And dinner again, breakfast, and I don't know. I told y'all to get chickens. My fire may have been a little high, so I had to drop the eggs from, you know, not optimal distance for fried eggs. So I broke my yolks. Man, that's a bummer. Mm. Look at there. Ah, eggs. Yummy, right? <laughs> Go way over there, way over there, way over there. Look, people are like, that man, how's he cooking on the ground? There's no fire. Because it's invisible. It's an invisible fire. With our bellies full of fried eggs, we pass the time at night telling scary stories. And then the man from the government said, I'm here to help. <laughs> Buenos dias, senoritas. We barely had time to finish our delicious fried eggs before a problem popped up. Or is it a solution? We filled everything we could up with water and the rain never did stop, which made today pretty much shot because we couldn't use the fire. Mmm. Cold beans. Could have been worse. How's that? Could have been eggs. Guten Morgen, dip. Ah, forget it. Two things I've learned. Maybe the Amish have had it figured out all along. We aren't supposed to have our faces glued to a screen for hours on end. We should live in the moment more, and I'm gonna start doing that. Also, I have become a master at the fried egg. Back to reality. I never had time to show you how to make this seawater drinkable. Watch this video right here and I'll show you how to do that. And make sure that the water in your home isn't poisoning your family.